Well, good afternoon. It is Tuesday, February 9th, episode 204 of Worship Live. Robert and Joyce are in Georgia at the Cancer Treatment Center, having hopefully Robert's last treatment. If you've not connected with them, you can do so on Pray for Robert Hayes on Facebook or Robert's Life Song on Caring Bridge. But continue to pray. Pray that the chemo will go well and that he will continue to get good reports. Well, we're going to go back again in the archives. This was the fourth day of Worship Live at the beginning of the pandemic. Robert Joyce and I had fun doing this episode. So why don't you worship with us today? You know, when this all started uh, about two weeks ago, I remember I was in the car and I said, well, Robert, you know, you know, I have been praying. I, I said, Lord, you know, all went along. We didn't have one snowstorm. I look forward to one snowstorm because then everything shuts down and it gets quiet. Do you know Just on for Sunday, the beginning of this week, two years ago, we woke up to 10 inches of snow. They've been coming up in my newsfeed pictures yep. of snow, and and I just I thought one day of snow would be good, Lord, and you know we didn't get it. We didn't get that day off, and then when we heard we were going to be shut down, everything was going to be quiet. I said to Robert, you know this doesn't mean it's going to get quiet for you and me because Bill will come up with something for us to do. Oh, now now see th this was your <laughs> idea, not my idea. No, and I said we need to get we for need some, to get into their homes. Because... I've been asking Robert to do this every Sunday. And he did it for a couple of weekends. But, oh, yes, true. But I'm a little concerned. I mean, this social distancing thing really has gotten weird. You've had the same outfit on the whole week. <laughs> well, you, That's you not too. like you. I you know, too, me but, too. You know, you sent us an email telling us that we're supposed to conserve energy. So, you know, somebody suggested one way to do that would be to not wash our clothes, you know, and just... We're in, we're in you know, we just can live I in the same thing all the time. I could go lots of places, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's unusual. Well, I don't know what you've spent your week doing um, to keep you busy. We've done a couple of little projects um, that kind of get put away. My friend Jerry, I called Jerry Deem. She said she's um, she's going through mail and um, shredding papers, keeping busy. I introduced my dad to uh, Roku, and he's we taught him how to binge watch. Ooh. So he's been binge watching a little. Um, a friend of mine um, on Facebook said um, that she said just a reminder that you know not everybody's sitting at home cleaning out their closets and organizing their houses that you know there are those we think about the nurses um, and the doctors that are serving in hospitals our son Jordan who's serving down Atlantic City you know we concerned about him being being exposed to things and worry about him but um, a friend of ours said don't you know there are people that are still working really hard and and uh, they own um, several grocery stores in Bermuda. And she said, I have been to all the little back roads delivering groceries to people. So she said, every moment of my day is, is kept morning till night delivering groceries and um, visiting people uh, along the way. Cool. So lots of busy, busy people. I wonder if they have toilet paper in Bermuda. I know we can ship it. Yeah. I think I'd like to deliver it. You know, this last weekend we were invited to go and do music there. We would have been canceled anyway. That's true. Because, um, so I guess they didn't God have their good all the missions time. conference. Yeah, so I'm still sad. There is a group of people we should thank. I'm sure I know, but can you tell me who it is we should thank? EMTs. Yes. I'm EMTs and uh, first responders yes. that, that have to go into places that they're not sure what they're going into. So we appreciate their sacrifice. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to sing. I, I know who holds tomorrow. I know what I'm going to sing now. Okay, just for a minute there, I lost my track of thought. Okay, it's <laughs> Friday. my fault. It's Friday. Oh, it's usually your fault. I'll yep. blame it on you. Well, because I came up with a last minute thought. <laughs> That's right. People we shouldn't Well, you've forget. been quiet all week, so it's about time you said something. Doctors, nurses, EMTs, first responders. Did we cover everyone? Well, and the know. local and the local pizza shop that all of our staff <laughs> have been going to. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we can laugh because we have confidence in who holds tomorrow and today. for it. 
velvet skies may turn to gray. I don't worry for the future.
We uh, we first played that together. It was yes. it 2008? Yep. Uh, Dave Shoppy, our director of development, was uh, here during our summer season. Had a massive heart attack, and that night when we went to do the service, we didn't have a clue what to do, what to say. And that's the first time we played that song. And wow, it's a long time ago. <laughs> A lot of first things started then. A lot of first things, like Joyce making us do this every day now. <laughs> so when the coronavirus thing is done, does that mean we're not doing this anymore? Oh, oh no. Notice how I set her up. <laughs> well, they can come to us then. Oh, see, 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 I just see. feel like, you know, people are lonely. They're in their houses and we need to come visit them and just say hello. And we promise to have different clothes on. Yes. <laughs> if we do it again next week, we'll change our clothes. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not every okay. day, though. Oh, just, yes. Right. We won't tell them our little secret. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a song written by Bill and Gloria Gaither that talks about these moments. And hopefully we're all making lots of interesting moments right now. But listen to these great words. Can you make this bigger? I'm going blind. I don't have good eyes like you do. Step back. <laughs> She's so worried about them. She's so paranoid. Is that better? Well, I have to move it. Just wait till she needs her words. I'm going to block it. <laughs> Hold tight to the sound of the music of living happy songs. the sweet fragrant meadows making memories of what was today
Well, at 2.30 today, you can join Lynn Wilson as she continues her Bible study for women called Hope for Today. It's a great study, and I want to encourage you to check it out, share that information with a friend. And then I want to remind you that tomorrow is Girl Talk. This is going to be an exciting day. Our good friend Jennifer Sands will be with us. It's the continuation of our series on music, and she is going to be featuring the music of Motown. It is going to be a wonderful morning. If you've not registered, I want to encourage you to do so today by calling 1-800-453-7942. And then Thursday evening is Men's Fellowship Night. We have spared no expense. Our speaker comes from a long distance, the Pines at Whiting. Pastor John Strain, our good friend who's a chaplain, will be sharing with the men. Guys, our food is so much better than the women's but we need you to pre-register. So if you'll call today for a reservation, 1-800-453-7942, or you can register online at www.americaskeswick.org. Join us tomorrow on Worship Live on Facebook Live, Boxcast, or YouTube. Have a good nap. We'll see you tomorrow.